Hello ladies and gentlemen, I got some news for you. A few days ago I uploaded my recreation of black and white in Unity, looked around on Discord and Reddit, and I think it's time to do this properly. I'm gonna do my best to continue my development, until we have a game eventually. I know that sounds quite ambitious, but I already have some progress that I can work on. Only a few people saw my video, but the comments were really motivational for me. I really enjoy working on this project. In the past, I always made some progress, got demotivated, but I always picked it up again and added some new stuff. The lockdown we are currently experiencing might actually be really beneficial for this project. I will work on it in my free time, but plan to do it a little bit more professional. The part I enjoy the most is building a programming framework. When developing any application, it is mandatory to build a solid foundation. If you want to do it right, it has to be incredibly easy to implement new stuff. If I were to implement a new miracle and I have to change the entire codebase to make it work, this will not work in the long run. It isn't much fun either. Instead, you should just create a new file that defines the behavior and the framework handles the rest like sticking it to your hand, make it throwable, you get the idea. I have that framework already built and it is mostly working fine. Of course I still need to tweak a few things here and there, but overall it is pretty solid. For example, here's my script for the fireball behavior. As you can see, nice and clean. So how is this gonna work? How should we approach this colossal project? I have a suggestion. I will be programming most of my time. I'm continuing to build that framework I was mentioning. It is really easy to swap the awful looking mesh I created for testing purposes for a high detailed model a talented user made. But it is not easy to change code, because obviously everything is connected somehow. If we communicate and trust each other, we might be able to pull this off. I'm sure you guys are way better artists than me anyway. But we need the power of the community for this long and difficult journey. You know what? We don't need a company or some publisher. If they don't want to make a black and white 3, fine, then I guess we have to do it ourselves. If you have a great idea or concept, why not implement it? We don't have to ask for permission. Think about it like an open source project. Let's talk about this really quickly. I'm pretty sure we find a few people that are willing to participate, even only a few hours a week or a month. How can we keep the flame of motivation burning? Good question, the answer is money. No, I'm just kidding, I don't want any money donations at this state. I think it would be best to accept donations if we have a playable beta or something comparable. Then I could even work full time on it. What you can do is simple and doesn't cost any money at all. Take a few minutes, write me a mail and motivate me. Maybe you can write about your ideas, maybe you have some wishes for the game. Maybe a miracle idea or a cool quest? Let me know. If I implement your idea, you will definitely get credit for it. Another way of helping is sharing this project. There are some artists on Facebook and YouTube who talk about a sequel. I think the idea of a team keeps us motivated even more. Because we can directly talk to people that are helping. Even if only one person is adding stuff, it shows that the project is not dead. And the last way of helping is being a member of the team. Don't be afraid, I'm sure anyone can help, if they have a will to learn things and can invest time into this project, maybe even just informing people. I put up a website that shows our progress, maybe even a simple bulletin board for things where I need your help. I will also create a roadmap so you can get an overview of the overall progress of the game. I didn't think about many things yet because I want to get something done. Obvious features are already implemented like movement, resource management, miracles and other basic things. A discord server is another thing I'm planning. That way we can easily stay in touch. I will be online on discord when I'm working on it. Maybe you want to chat with me? Don't be afraid to contact me, I'm a really kind person. Details about the discord or my website will be in the description. I also plan to release some short videos about my progress every week or so, so stay tuned. Let me know what you think of all it. Thanks for watching.